The issue of lead in paint goes back decades. Lead in water is a more recent concern, but it's led to health screenings and required notifications of elevated lead levels in children. Recently, it was learned that some of those notifications may not have been going out to parents, leading to the resignation of the health commissioner. And today, the Common Council began its investigation of the health department by talking with Mayor Tom Barrett. I was agitated with some of the answers that I was receiving from the health department, which led to more involvement from my office into what was going on there. Alderman Tony Zelensky has been asking for greater accountability by the health department for months and says the council can't continue operating in the dark. The next steps would be to identify a firm. We, we don't want this done in-house. We don't want the comptroller to do this. We want a CPA firm, a big CPA firm that has experience in operational audits to go through that department with a fine-tooth comb and uh, who knows what we'll uncover. The measure gives the Common Council subpoena powers to demand answers and honesty from health department employees. So I think it's really important for us to make this a priority, uh, to be able to get the answers, um, but not only just get answers, to be able to chart a way forward um, that shows people that they should have a certain level of confidence um, in their health department. Man, because those health department records are apparently so shoddy, they literally don't know how many of those 8,000 families were notified. They're going to send out letters again to all of them, offering retesting as well. The specifics of that program, though, are not yet available or worked out. Reporting live at City Hall, Nick Porter with the ISN 12 News.